Today's scholars, today we're going to talk about the Bill of Rights. And the First Amendment of the Bill of Rights is really the one that has the juiciest information in it because it has five freedoms in it. We're going to go over them one at a time. The first freedom is the freedom of speech. And that means that you're allowed to express your thoughts and opinions with language, like talking or signing. If you do sign language, you can do it in writing or you can even use symbols without the government trying to restrain you. Now, that's the government. Unfortunately, what that means is even when people are saying things that you find offensive and you don't like, the government cannot step in and keep them from doing that. Look at the picture on the left, this one right here. These people have posters that are very offensive. That, that's terrible what they're writing and saying and they're yelling there. And in the background, the police officer is just letting it go. That's because as part of the government, he has no right to interfere with their freedom of speech. What it does not mean is that you, you can't tell lies, right? If you're saying lies, then the government is allowed to interfere. Also, if you're saying things that are harmful to the national interest, like secrets that could harm us, then the government can interfere. Also, if you're telling things, saying things that intentionally cause a panic, like yelling fire in a crowded movie theater, the government can intervene. And lastly, privacy. You're not allowed to share private information publicly. Freedom of religion. You pretty much know what that means. You are allowed to practice whatever religion you want to. That's your freedom of religion. But you cannot practice it in a way that would harm others. In the 1990s, there was a cult in Texas led by this person, and they were called the Branch Davidians, and they were hoarding dangerous weapons a lot. So the government intervened to take those weapons away because they saw them as a danger. But in the process, their whole compound burned down. Freedom of the press, press is reporting information. You can share news and, and, and your opinions without the government trying to stop you. But it does not mean that you can knowingly say lies. If you do that, it can be called libel if it's in writing, if you write lies. It can be called slander if you say lies. And defamation is when you say lies either way that are meant to harm someone's reputation. Freedom of assembly means you can gather with people without the government interfering. And in good ways, like with Martin Luther King, that helped our, our country. But sometimes it means groups that we consider bad, they have that freedom too. Unfortunately, that's, that's the freedom they have. This is the Ku Klux Klan on the right, and they are a very racist organization. But according to the First Amendment, they do have the right to gather. They do have that right. You're not allowed to gather in places that are dangerous or in a situation that is dangerous, like when we're closing the beaches. You're not allowed to gather on someone's private property if they haven't given you permission. Also, the government can interfere if you're gathering with criminals. These right here are criminals from the mafia, and the government said you're not allowed to gather for a criminal organization. Finally, you have the right to ask the government for change. If you want the government to change, you can write a petition to the government, or you can speak before the government like the school board meeting right here. This is a school board. This is a regular citizen talking to their leaders saying, this is what I would like out of you, out of my, my leaders. So let me go ahead and tell you what you're going to do. It's really easy today. What you're going to do is you're just going to drag and drop these words into their right spot. Read the sentence and then just drag and drop the word into the right spot, wherever it happens to be. Good luck, stay safe, and keep learning. Bye-bye.